as y'all can see, I definitely broke my glasses. Oh. Typically, I don't come on here and talk when uh, stuff like that happens, but it reminded me that stuff is going to happen and you're going to have to get used to it. I see ants crawling on this thing. Y'all, let's just hope I don't get bit because I remember stepping in the ant bed. I know this is like off topic, but I remember stepping, stepping in the ant bed when I was, how old was I? Four or five? I had them little jelly, them little jelly um shoes on with the little strap on the side. Man, I came straight up out them shoes. This is my favorite. Ever since I got sick that time when I went down to Atlanta a few months ago. This right, and I don't know what that was. This right here saved me big time because it's got taste to it. I think it's like, it says grape, but I think it's grape strawberry. Anyway, it works. To me, any of them work, but this is my favorite flavor. But yeah, I wanted to get out in nature, be outside, do something different. Have a video up that y'all can see. Um, I'm currently looking at some birds over there. That's another fear of mine. I don't want to get pooped on. I don't want to get pooped on. I'm fine with being left in the woods. Like it, <laughs> I'm okay with being left in the woods. I'm a I'm a I'm a nature person. Like when I was small. I used to be out there in the, in the woods all day with my imagination, playing, making stuff up, talking about stuff, um, typically with my sister, because I'm the oldest of, of two more underneath me. Um, but me and her will be out there playing, or like the neighbors, um, if they have the opportunity, they will be out there playing. But yeah, I miss that. Like, I feel like kids nowadays, Kids nowadays don't really want to get outside like that. They be in the phone, they be in the computer, they be on the tablet. Go outside. Go outside. Vitamin D is your best friend. It makes you feel so much better, even when you are sick. Even when you are sick. And y'all, if y'all got a dream, y'all got an aspiration, y'all got something y'all want to go after, please, please, please go after it. Please go after it. I'm begging y'all go after it. Because it's, no day is promised. No day is promised, man. No day is promised. No time is promised. Time ain't really real, to be honest with you, but, you know, I ain't going to dip with it. It just, get it. You know, if you got a moment, get out of nature and, and, and breathe. I feel like that's part of the problem with this. Like, this breeze, for example, feels amazing. I really hope nobody walked their dog over here. I didn't think this all the way through, but, hey, I'm trying to spur the moment type of stuff. And shout out to Tootie, you got to do what you got to do with what you got. I didn't bring the thing. To hold up, nothing, nothing. Gotta do, gotta work with what you got. I left my tripod in the um in the house, but yeah. If you got, if you got like a like a dream, an aspiration, like for me, I really my clothing brand, right? I'm big on it, and I'm trying to push it. I changed the name to it, the Flow State Ballers, and I'm really, really happy and, and thankful with the products that I'm coming out with, but I'm continually learning and constantly changing what I can, you know, what I feel like my crowd and, and my niche would like. So that's what I'm going after and just always remain authentic. It don't matter what you're doing, always remain authentic. And, and 
sometimes you have to meet people where they at. Sometimes you have to help out a little bit, you know. If you got stuff on hand, drop the prices a little bit. But, y'all, what also comes with it is not only do you have to push your brand and you have to probably find models and stuff of that nature, like possibly give them something. Um, I feel like it's organic when they push your brand because they like your brand. You feel me? They push your stuff because they like your stuff. It was a red cardinal that just flew in the tree. I see it. Now I want to cry. Now I want to cry. Like that was such a beautiful moment just then. I didn't chill. Like y'all. Oh. Oh. It does something to me. But. I don't know. Y'all just. Y'all just got to stay authentic and go after what you. What you truly want to do. A year, about a year ago today it was well no it was, it was about mm, 10 11 months from now i think it was august around this time july august around this time and i was like going through it i didn't know what i was going to i think it was august i didn't know what i was going to do i was like but i got to stay the course right and here i am not even a year later making stuff pop, making stuff happen. And it don't stop. Like, it really don't stop. You don't stop doing what you truly love. But you got to keep going after that. And that's what I've been after, man. That's what I've been after. That's what I've been after. And for those of y'all that are concerned, yes, I put on sunscreen beforehand because I feel like somebody's going to say something. And I, unfortunately, I burn first, typically, before I tan. Even with sunscreen on. But yeah. You have to go after what you really want. And you can't. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody tell you no. Don't ever take nobody's business advice. That hasn't had at least one successful business. Under their belt. They don't have that. Don't take their advice. Most times people do stuff. And give you unsolicited advice. Because that's what they would do. Right. Don't worry about that. Be like, oh, thanks, appreciate it, whatever, and keep it moving. Don't think about nothing they're saying. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Just go after what you feel is necessary. Go after what you feel is like yours, your lane. Nobody can mess up your lane. People will try to veer to it from, you feel me, but nobody can mess up your lane. Nobody. And I hope I'm talking loud enough because I got the, I don't know which, <laughs> I don't know how I got this phone set up. But yeah, y'all y'all got to go after what y'all really pursuing. Because I feel like nowadays the world is getting turned upside down to where in the veil, if you really believe in the veil part, it's real, real thin right now. And if you're very spiritual, that's a big thing. Please don't thank me. Where'd it go? I don't want to get stung. <laughs> I don't want to get bit and I don't want to get stung. But yeah, the veil is like real thin right now. So y'all gotta, y'all, y'all, y'all really gotta get out in nature, absorb what you can, do what you can. And, and, mm, I don't even want to touch on too, too much spiritual because a lot of people don't really believe in what I believe in, but you gotta go after it. And, you know, Right, I'm about to get off here because I see nets and I don't want to come over here messing with me because then I'm going to be doing this the whole video. But yeah, y'all. Get out in nature. What I was trying to tell y'all, get out in nature. Don't let nothing bring you down, man. You got this. 